Guys, Solid Dot here, and today I'm going to do a video review on the BenQ screen bar. Now, this screen bar can be found for £120 on, in the UK and $130 in the US. In case you're interested, um, be sure to check out in the links in the description below, including specs um, on BenQ's website. Now, the screen bar itself is pretty expensive, given that there's a few other third-party solutions that can be found between £30 and £40. However, the BenQ, at least from my research that I found online, is the only one that seems to be premium uh, looking and in terms of design and also is one of the only ones that actually has a separate control pod. Now there's three different variants of the screen bar. You can find the light version for the laptop, you can find the uh, the one without the control pod and then the one with the control pod. Uh, so this is the one with the control pod as you might imagine. Now the, the way the screen bar works is pretty simple. It's very easy to install. There's basically a counterbalance that sits at the back of your monitor. So depending on the size of the monitor, I don't think you'll have any issues whatsoever. Um, and the screen bar itself um, connects up to its clasp and then is connected via micro USB cable. The micro USB cable is a flat line cable which then goes to the control pod. Uh, if you don't have the control pod then this will directly go to a USB type A port uh, which therefore can be connected to your monitor if your monitor is plugged into your uh, motherboard or your laptop um, or it can be plugged into a, a wall socket or in my case, I plugged it in directly to my motherboard, but again, if you have a laptop, you can plug it in there as well. Uh, BenQ suggests that you have at least a five volt um, um, output uh, for your USB ports in order to power the light uh, adequately. Now that is perfectly fine for most modern day laptops or PCs, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. Now the control pod itself, and the reason why you'd want to pay extra for this versus the non-control pod variant, which I think is a lot cheaper, well, around um, $20 cheaper in the US and um, about 30, 40 pounds, well 30 odd pounds uh, cheaper in the UK. Um, the control pod essentially means that you don't have to press buttons at the top of the, um, the light or the screen bar. So the non-control pod variant has its controls directly on the screen bar itself. However, here you get a more sleeker type of look and a quite easier access rather than having to reach out. In my case, my monitor is usually propped up pretty much all the way to the top um, of my um, of its um, height adjustments and therefore actually adjusting it would be pretty much impossible unless if I were to every day adjust my monitor down and then do that, which seems pretty counterintuitive because you want something that's quite easy to use. And therefore this control pod pretty much does it. Now the control pod is very easy to um, understand. There's basically a, um, a kind of knob that you can adjust and that adjusts uh, the brightness um, or the temperature. So by the press of the right button you can adjust the temperature. You can see it goes blue and uh, then it goes uh, more of a warmish um, color tone. And then if you press the button again, you've got how light it can go. So you can dim it pretty low and then you can ramp it up pretty bright and therefore it'll be very, very bright. You've also got via the control pod an auto dimmable function. If you press this button, it will flash and then it'll go green and then it'll automatically dim itself depending on your, um, uh, your room's lighting conditions and the ambient light uh, sensor is found over here. Other than that, there's nothing else to uh, mention. The little puck over here is uh, very sturdy. It's got a good weight to it. It's not gonna slide off because it's got a rubber grip underneath. And also in terms of the feel of it, in terms of how the volume knob um, adjusts and how quickly it responds, it's instantaneous and I've got no complaints whatsoever. So what do I make of the actual screen bar? Well, to be quite honest, it is very useful for those people who want to be working on their desk. In other words, you want to have a light that's shining down from uh, in front of you rather than behind you. So in this respect, over here, it would be pretty dark to actually um, do some work. Um, and in this case, you'd want to have a sort of lamp. Usually you'd have a lamp, let's say, positioned over here, and therefore it would be taking space on the desk. Here, it doesn't really go in the way of your monitor because it sits at the top of the bezel, and even if you've got three side borderless design, it won't in it interfere with your, um, your monitor. And then the light over here provides enough light, which means that you get loads of um, extra light that you can actually work, or if you want to see your keyboard a little bit better. So the solution won't 
isn't for people who really want to see their monitor better, it's for people who want to work in front of their monitor, or let's say, in my case, let's say I'll do this and then just have it here, or let's say if I'm eating food, there's even a sign over here of my plate yesterday where I was eating food. Um, it really depends on in terms of you, but I really like what um, this light does, and I definitely see myself using it. I can definitely see, for example, my uh, fiance who is um, doing a PhD, she'll be working on a PC, but then she'll have to do some uh, complex calculations or look at her notes and then she can do that using this light and if she doesn't want to use it anymore she presses the button and there you go it's automatically off. So it does exactly what it says on the tin, yes it is expensive and yes you're paying a premium for the BenQ brand, however you do get what you're paying for, it is definitely worth the investment if it's something that you want. For me, having good amount of light when I'm working, so for example at the back I've got a desk lamp which I always um, have behind the monitor because I like it to be illuminated behind. And even on the right hand side of my monitor I've got another light, so I've got two different light sources coming from different positions when I could replace both of them and have this BenQ light instead. So there we go guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this review and this uh, kind of overview of what the screen bar is. As I said, um, I would definitely recommend it, uh, but your mileage may vary and I do understand it's pretty expensive given what it actually is. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed, take care and bye bye.